Hello everybody. I wanted to come on today to talk about what was in this year's Halloween mystery box. So this is a mystery box reveal, the 2022 Halloween crochet mystery box. And by the way, my name is Evelyn of Pink Sheep Design. Um, welcome to my channel and thanks for joining in this video. So if you have ever wondered what is in one of our crochet mystery boxes, we usually do them themed for holidays. Um, I like to do these reveals once all the boxes have been sent out and received so that you guys can see maybe not, not what's in the one you're about to order in the future, but an idea of the kinds of things that we include in these mystery boxes. So we will get started with the specialty stitch markers that were included in this year's boxes. So usually we will include some special holiday themed stitch markers um, and other notions. And this year we had a new shape that we created for the mystery box. And they are little ghosties. So these are fun little ghosty stitch markers whoop, that jump out of your hands when you're not being careful. Um, so you can see the opening is right here on the bottom of the stitch marker. Um, and you can actually do them this direction too. So you can open it this way to get them onto the stitches. But it kind of reminds me of like the little Pac-Man ghosts. I felt like they needed a little Pac-Man in there with them. But this year's boxes got, I believe it was a couple of white ghosts and then I think 10 or so of the orange ghosts. You can see I had a whole bunch of these little orange guys left. Um, orange ghosts and purple ghosts stitch markers in their mystery boxes. So that was super fun. Um, and it's always fun getting to design the new stitch marker shapes. So this year we actually had two crochet tools that we had not previously released. One of these tools is now available in our shop. The other one, I have not created a listing for it yet, but I do plan on selling these in the shop in the future. Um, the first one is a pom-pom maker. So this is a simple pom-pom maker, um, and it also is great for making tassels. Uh, so what you do is you take your yarn and you wrap it around these two prongs, and then you tie it in the middle pull the, the piece off and then cut around the edges. I actually have a video that shows exactly how to use this tool. Um, and I will put a link to that video in the description. So if you're wondering, um, I will also put a link to how to purchase one of these because these are the tools that are available in the Etsy shop now. So if you want to uh, own one of these simple pom-pom maker tools and tassel making tools, um, and for the tassel, you would just tie it higher up. So you would wrap everything the same, but you would tie it right here on the edge, pull that off, and then you can tie that. So super excited about these. That's pretty fun. Um, and again, this was new for the Halloween Mystery Box 2022. Uh, the other tool, let me get this out of here. The other tool that we created is a color keeper. So this is a great tool for planning out um, projects that you're going to use multiple colors for or color planning. So if you want to see what colors look like next to each other, you can attach the colors onto each of these pieces. You can also have each color coincide. So if you are making a temperature blanket or something like that, you can have a color coincide um, to that set of temperatures or something like that. It's just a fun tool that I feel like people could find a use for. Um, so this is one that I do plan on adding to our Etsy shop, Etsy shop soon, but we created this just for the um, mystery box this year. Okay, so something that I really, really enjoy doing with these mystery boxes is working with other companies and other makers. So for this particular mystery box, we got to work with two other small companies, small makers. Um, and the first one I'm super excited about because she does not live here in the States. So it was definitely fun trying to figure out the right way to make sure that things got shipped out in time and that there weren't any issues with customs and that we got everything we needed in time for the boxes, but everything worked out perfect. I could not have asked for a better experience and I love working with this person. So I was really happy to get to feature her in the box. 
but this is Emma of What the Hook Creations, and she created these keychain, mini crochet hook keychains with polymer clay in these fun Halloween colors. So everybody that got a mystery box this year got one of these key ring, these key ring crochet hooks. Here we go. And you can see her information at whatthehook.creations. Um, so super excited about these. And I actually have one of her little necklaces that she creates as well as one of her full size polymer clay handle hooks. Um, so we were just super excited. And this is a size five. So it is actually a pretty popular size in that, that size range for tapered metal hooks. So super excited about those. The other person that we got to work with and I don't actually have a full set of these left um, because they all went out in the boxes, but I'm going to show you a few of them. Um, so these are wonderful faux leather tags for something like a hat. I'm actually going to put this one on this hat because I love it so much because I had a few of these left. Um, so we have Spooky Babe. We had Hello My Pretties. And not everybody got the same ones. Resting Witch Face. We have this little kitty cat here. Uh, let's see. She also included a few for me to check out that are just kind of her fall line, sweater weather. Um, but these are wonderful. They're thick tags. This was great. And this is Laser Llama Boutique. So be sure to check her out. Um, wonderful stuff. So Laser Llama Boutique. All of the links to these makers will be in the description. So if you want to check out her tags, if you want to check out some of Emma's hooks, um, all of that information is in the description. So definitely go give them a follow and check them out. So I include greeting cards with each of these boxes. So you'll get a handwritten card. Um, usually it is a, a themed card. So they got Halloween cards this year. And usually inside the card, I have a sticker that was designed for the box. Now, the stickers are not always exclusive and they're not always holiday themed. So sometimes I'll include a sticker that's just a really fun sticker that I've created um, that I may still sell later. But this time I did have an exclusive sticker in the box. Um, this is the little Yarny Ghost. Now this design was available on apparel. So I do have some apparel with this little ghost on there. And I do believe that next year I will sell these in the shop for Halloween. Uh, but I do not plan on stocking them in the Etsy shop until next year. But look how cute he is! So this is just a little sticker um, that you can put on whatever. These are, all of my stickers are weatherproof. So you can put them on your car, you can put them on your water bottle, you can wash them. I probably would not put them into the um, washing machine. I mean, like the dishwasher, but you can hand wash them. Um, I have... These stickers that have been on my mug now for a year, and I hand wash it almost every day. So they hold up really well. So we've got the sticker. All right, and then usually I will have some kind of larger merchandise piece that is custom. So this could be a tote bag, this could be a mug, um, this could be a notebook, a, a custom notebook. So in for the St. Patrick's Day box this year, um, we had a custom notebook made for the box. So I was really excited about this and I was actually surprised at the cost of one of these custom items, but I was determined to get one of these made for one of these boxes. So this year it happened and we got a zipper notions pouch. So you can see hand right up next to it. It is a little bit bigger than my hand this way, this way, um, but a little bit shorter than the length of my hand. I can't remember the exact measurement, maybe like five by seven, maybe. Um, hang on, it's got a nice big tag in there that I haven't cut out, but it's made really well. It's got this really nice metal zipper on it. It's, it's a, um, a nice canvas lined canvas material. Um, so I was really, really happy with these, came, how these came out. And we've got this wonderful little ghost and all of his little friends on this little pouch. And so I had been putting all of the little 
tags in here. I can put my little keychain hook in here. I can fit my color keeper in here. I can fit some stitch markers in here. It's just a great size little bag. So super, super excited about this one. Um, and these bags, so I actually ordered these from Redbubble. So if you ever want to check out my Redbubble shop, I do have lots of options on these little zippy pouches. This one was limited edition to the box. So usually my larger merchandise item is going to be a limited edition run. So it's not going to be something that I sell in the shop. So that was the case for this one, but there are other pouches on there if you want to check them out. So fun little zipper pouch. Now, last but not least, and actually no, two more things. So second to last, free pattern. So for this box, everybody got a free version, a free PDF version download of this candy corn hat that I created for the box. So this was not a previously released pattern. I actually released this pattern to my Etsy shop after all of the boxes had been shipped out. Um, but this is the candy corn hat and I loved it because um, you got the pom pom maker in the box. And so you were able to use the pom pom maker to make your pom pom hat. And then the other thing was all of our mystery boxes come with a special limited edition crochet hook. And so this pattern was designed to be used with the hook that came in the box. So that's my last but not least, a drum roll please. <laughs> I just shook the camera. This is this year's uh, Halloween hook. So this is, I we really love that it is like a true pumpkin orange. So we chose to go with an 11 millimeter hook for this box. You can see the 11 millimeter on the bottom. These are one of our classic uh, fully 3D printed crochet hooks. Um, this hat calls for an 11 millimeter hook to be used for the pattern. Um, and we used a, an orange and green neon holographic glitter for this hook. So you can see the sparkle that that hook has going on. And we also used orange um, mica powder. So super, super excited about that hook and the hat and everything in this year's box. This was a really, really fun one to put together. And I hope that if you got one that you love everything that you got in it. Um, we are currently our next our next mystery box, so um, Christmas mystery boxes will be shipping out at the end of November, of this November, so that is already closed, but we will most likely, um, I have to think, let's see, we'll probably have a, another Halloween box, so next year, 2023, but I do not know if we're going to have one between Christmas and Halloween. So sometimes we will do maybe like a Valentine's box because last year we did St. Patrick's Day and those are so close. Um, we have not done a Valentine's Day box, so I think that might be fun. Um, so just stay tuned and we'll see. And if you want to be alerted when we have these boxes available, be sure to join my newsletter because that is going to be the main way that you're going to know um, when I send out the uh, pre-orders uh, the pre-order call for you to order your boxes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Happy hooking!